जी तो वेलकम बैक गाइस स्वागत है आपका एक और नए वीडियो में आप देखना शुरू कर चुके हैं मोटन के मोर यूट्यूब चैनल मैं हूँ आपका दोस्त साहिल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि अगर आपने वीडियो को क्लिक कर ही लिया है तो इस वीडियो को पूरा देखेगा बहुत मेहनत लगी है भाई छोटे छोटे सीन्स को जो है कट करके अरेंज करके आपके सामने प्रस्तुत करने में तो आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि वीडियो को पूरा देखें मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि आपको वीडियो अच्छी लगी रोड पर सारे सिनेमेटिक्स जो है इस वीडियो में आपको देखने को मिलेंगे तो आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है वीडियो लास्ट तक देखिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब और वीडियो को लाइक जरूर करिए थैंक यू सो मच Are you denying that? We have discussed What it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough. You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you going to tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you can... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time I want to hear it from Marshall from the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target over. Roger, ground target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. Get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? 
Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable That's made... what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary... Oh, I'm that... aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got... complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and U.S. operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements of wait. Wait? What the hell with that? Barrage, come in. Where did your way? No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Case, okay, so let's start by softening them up. Let's get to work, Case. That's our opening! Garage will meet us at the bottom. Garage! I think we're good. Everyone all right? Is this your... No, 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 no! Adler! Stand down! Goddamn Russell Adler, CIA traitor. He been on the run, what, 10 months? Marshall, huh? Woods' his new project? You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Hello, we can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck. to add? Sir, despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods, that makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. <laughs> 
Are you admiring your own work? Can't believe you kept it. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah, try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. Just tell me where you want to spend the cash and I'll set it up. Like Marshall said, your mission details are on the board over there. Adler didn't leave much intel on Savati Dumas, but I could tell you a thing or two about Avalon. It's a playground for the filthy rich, and crime factions run the whole city. Everyone's looking for who to push it off the slide. When they pick a target, they hire someone like Savati. She used to be part of the Guild, one of the most powerful Avalon factions. But now she freelances. Savati said that Adler hired her to follow a Pantheon trail. So you're gonna join her on that job tonight. We wanna see firsthand where that trail leads. Maybe we'll even add some muscle to the team. You'll scratch her back. But sure as hell, watch your own. Trust is gotta be earned.
name is Yannick, a broker for the guild. He'll be on his yacht tonight taking a call with the Pantheon. We'll be listening in. Once that call is finished, you'll finish Yannick. That'll draw the target I really want. But first things first. The bell tower on that church offers an open view of Yannick's yacht. He's throwing a party while his men count money in the church. Yannick traffics in weapons, narcotics, women. Whatever pays. Rumor has it the Pantheon wants a relationship with the guild. So Yannick is testing the waters. He's only our first domino. The real fun starts after we knock him down and get access to the target I really want. Johannes Edi. Close enough to know if you screw this up. Take the shot. Good shot. You're in the clear case. Let's go, Jason. Turn it down. That's Gabriel up there. He's cool. They called an emergency meeting at Chateau de la Haute Lune. Three guild leaders will be in attendance to smooth things over with Pantheon. I want to get paid, so we're going to crush that party. Chateau de la Haute Lune, let's go! The guild will lock the restaurant down and meet in a safe room on the second floor. Door can only be unlocked from the inside. You're gonna help me get that door open. We're a few minutes out yet. Just enough time to get changed. There we are. It's for guild security. Personally, I want these guild bastards dead. That day on seems the only cake for me. This is my stop. Get to the safe room's antechamber on the second floor. An alarm will go off. That's okay. The guild doesn't know you. So your best option is to surrender and play along. When you get inside, wait for my cue. Meeting Pantheon right now. Get inside and find the safe room. Of all the guild us. for my signal, not before. Timetable's moved up. I want that shipment sent tonight. You CIA types are all the same. And this one? <laughs> Troublemaker. What's going on in there? We have a visitor. Walked right into the lion's den. Alone. Uninvited. Maybe this one works for a rival, huh? Or maybe Pantheon is trying to squeeze us. We came to you, Isaini. We learn the truth one way. <laughs> or another. Show me your visit. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, look at that. You're a long way from home, Case. This man is extremely dangerous. Kill him immediately. Minato.
Where is the Sadie? Check the street! Limo's coming down the street! Shoot! Nadler was right. The CIA might be behind Pantheon. Let's hope he isn't right about their mystery weapon. Maybe it's time you take me to this safe house of yours. Got word from Case. Savati Dumas agreed to join us at the Rook, so we're two for two. I'm returning from Munich with Felix Newman. Newman's cut from a different claw, a brutal Stasi enforcer and a tech genius. He used to be a pain in the CIA's ass. That was before he gave the middle finger to the Stasi and defected to West Germany. Newman claims he's moved on from a life of violence and doesn't even arm himself anymore. But one way or the other, he couldn't turn down a chance to stick it to the CIA once again. He'll get that opportunity soon. He's gonna try to break into Langley's network and find out where they're holding Russell Adler. Still haven't warmed up to that sev yet, but hey, at least we didn't get killed in our sleep. Newman's been craking all night. I already got something. Come on. All right, Newman. Care to share? Please, call me Felix. We are all friends here. Yeah, of course. Russell Adler is in your Washington, D.C. black site. The subterranean one that went into operation almost three years ago. D.C. black site? There are blueprints as well. It is located Underneath Capital Station, I assume you're aware of this. I see. Well, it includes a small maximum security wing. That is where you'll find your prize. We need a gang plan. You in, right? I wouldn't be sitting here if I wasn't. I'll take that. Newman. Felix. I need to wait into that black site. I'm still... Investigating vulnerabilities. Good man. Let me know when you got something, okay? Case. The guild took me in as a child, an orphan on the streets of Morocco. They became my family and provided a vision for what I could become a weapon. I was happy to protect them, to kill for them. Until one day they betrayed my trust. That was it. Someone died because of me. Undeservedly. That's all I feel like saying about that. Not many rumors in Avalon get past me. One involved this group you're after. Supposedly the Pantheon is in bed with one of the factions, but I don't know who. Adler thought it might be the Guild, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Whoever it is, Maybe it'll be clear in time. Yep. A branch of the DC tunnel system houses the black site. Which, according to the schematics that I, um, borrowed, has an entrance directly beneath Capital Station. The black side holding Adler is secured by a retinal scan. We won't have access. At least not anymore. We have an opportunity, though, if we move fast. This Saturday night, the station is hosting a political event. Take it, Felix. 
Interestingly, one of the event's attendees, a Senator Jack McKinna, has security clearance to the black site. We only need a high-resolution image of his eyes to get past the retinal scanner. I'm working on something for that. So we're gonna show up to this fundraiser, get what we need from the Senator, then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happened. Sounds simple enough. Don't you think? actually works. Sometimes I surprise even myself. I just hope Sav and Case can get the retinal scan. You're going through a lot of trouble to rescue this Adler fellow. You're telling me. Image received on our end, Case. Audio's coming in clean, and all is yours. You're stepping into my world now, Case. Or should I say Jeff Burke? Photojournalist for the Washington Telegraph. Don't make Any questions? Now's the time to ask. I'll tell you what I can. When the senator arrived, the waiter passed him a note. Whatever's on it put McKenna in a real bad mood. He crumpled the note and shoved it in his coat pocket right before he checked in. If we get our hands on that note, I bet we could use whatever's on it to our advantage. He's what you Americans would call a fixer. Cleans up messes for one of New York City's five families. I've done work for him in the past. He's been surveilling the senator since I got here. Not in a friendly way. Maybe you can find out why. Come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Senator McKenna seems to be having domestic troubles. Had a fight with his wife when he got here. Lots of smiling through gritted teeth. She stormed off. Hasn't spoken to him since. Just been drowning her troubles at the bar. Maybe you should lend her a sympathetic ear. The floor is yours, Jess Burke. Time to use the mic on that camera of yours. Act like you're taking pictures. Over there, that's the senator's aide. She and her mystery friend seem to be having a very serious conversation. Audio is clean, maintain focus. Keep an eye on the girl. I still can't believe no one bought him. Sorry, sir, this area is off limits. Doing in my car. 
Hey, a CIA security detail is heading your way. Lay low and get that tape to the senator's wife. Good luck with the retinal scan. Stepping out now for a wardrobe change. Do you know? Did this out of the kindness of your heart, I'm sure. So, what is it you want in exchange? That's really all you're after? I'll just need a few minutes. Would you mind keeping Miss Johansson busy until I'm back? Excuse me. I prefer a white Russian. Sorry, I would never spend 60 grand on this thing. What? The senator isn't speaking to press tonight. And as of now, I'm off the clock. So go ruin someone else's evening. That idiot. How could he let this happen? Who? Who are you giving it to? You're going to report on this? You, you can't. What shit rag newspaper are you with? Is it the Telegraph? The Inquirer? The, the fucking Post? Oh, it isn't a newspaper, Miss Johansson. It's me. Miriam, please. I was never going to actually release that video. It was just a scam to earn a little extra money. It's nothing personal. Everything is personal in politics. Do you think I don't know what goes on under my own roof? I know how this looks, but I swear, I have nothing but respect for you and your husband. My husband, God bless his soul, is an idiot. But he gets votes. That makes him a useful idiot. You, on the other hand... Ah! <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> Miriam, please, don't... Don't do what, dear? Jason, I think Miss Johansson has had too much to drink. Please help her out. As for you, a deal's a deal. Okay, I'm here. What's this all about? I've cleaned up another of your messes, as usual. Unfortunately, you're in need of a new aide. Perhaps a nice young man this time. Could have handled it myself. I promised this reporter a photo, if you'd be so kind. Zoom in. Zoom in. That's all, dear. Run along. Thank you for your investigative diligence. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. And feel free to put your drinks on my husband's tab. Scan is good. Nice work, Case. Time to get to the roof. That's how we'll reach Adler. Slowly. Got a 1014 and R1 requesting backup. 10-4. Now just stay calm and no one's gonna get hurt. Do we have a problem here? I, sir, I, I just found. Why don't you just let it uh, That's one hell of a hit. Not taking any chances. 1023, backup's on the way. 1022, that. It's taken care of. Copy that. The bag's for you, Case. You're underdressed. Go on. The bag's right there. <clears throat> there we go. Man. I'll keep watch until I hear from you two. Easy, Adler. 
Guess Woods got my message. The old man says you're worth it. Better be right. Seth, we got the prize. Good. Now get out. Fast. We've got party crashes up here. Great. You good to go? Am now. You guys see the great escape? Yeah, you didn't make it out. We will. If we can outgun them, we outrun them. Saddle up. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Ever do anything like this before? No. But I don't see any better options, and I'm running out of bullets. It is all hands on deck here. What the hell happened? We busted Adler out. He broke into a CIA black site to free Russell Adler. Are you out of your mind? Something's going on, Jane. Something big. Okay, Adler was right. The agency is compromised. You sure it's not Adler? No, but the guys that hit the black site? They weren't friends of his. What guys? It was the Pantheon. The same group that showed up out of nowhere in Kuwait. There's no way that they can know about the black side unless someone inside the CIA is feeding them intel, someone higher. Is it Livingston? Maybe. Listen, Troy, they are pinning the attack on you, all of you. Woods, Case, Adler, you're on Interpol's most wanted list. Red notices all around. Yeah, I got the picture. I can help. No, it's better if you're insulated from the blowback. Shining armor shit, Troy. You want to help? Keep digging. Look into Livingston. Okay, let me see what I can do. Thanks. And Jane. Yeah. Don't trust anyone. A liability? Seriously? You'd never pass for Delta. An interpreter, then. You don't even you don't even speak Arabic. I'm wasting my breath. I'm not taking a vote here. Okay, you're staying back. I want you here with Felix and Woods. What? If you have this figured out, I'm not just going to sit around. I'm going out. Let her go. 
Moving on. Adley, you sure that's all the lie we told you? Before you executed him? You're in my world now, Marshal. Gonna have to grow up fast. I'm listening. Alawi knew the Pantheon had a presence in Iraq. It's part of the technology exchange with Saddam Hussein. The Pantheon gets cover in facilities. Hussein gets access to an experimental weapon. But Alawi didn't know what the weapon was? No. Only that they're calling it the Cradle. The Cradle. Cradle. And it's in Iraq right now. Presumably. Alawi said it was in transit to a remote palace. Demonstrations taking place in a bunker underneath. Hussein is a world-class collector of palaces. There are many on this map alone. Alawi was confident he knew the one. Yes. This one. Let's take a first-hand look, then. We'll finalize plans soon, and we'll ship out. Dismiss. I'll take these. Enjoy them. I brought them for you. Figured. You don't usually smoke the shit brands. Don't want you raising your standards. Well, there's never been a better time to be cheap as hell. Hey. Yeah. Listen, I understand that in your own Adler-ass way, you invited us to this place. Maybe you've got squatters' rights, but don't much care. The palace we're after is in western Iraq. Syrian desert. There's a complication. Desert storm. Coalition forces launched the operation two weeks ago against Saddam Hussein. They've taken out as many strategic targets from the air as possible. They haven't destroyed the palace yet, but that's about to change. British SAS forces are on the ground hunting mobile Scud launchers, and they've marked our palace for massive aerial bombing. That can't happen. We don't know what Pantheon's hiding in the bunker under the palace. If it's destroyed, we lose the trail. I reached out to an old collaborator of mine at MI6 for a favor. She pressured the SAS to delay their airstrike, but it'll come at a cost. We're gonna pose as Delta Force operatives so this Helen Park can get us to the front. Then we're gonna help the SAS clean up those scud launchers. After that, the palace is ours.
Good God. Saddam's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. We trade it all for a WMT. We're close. Allowing us. Diesel 2 1, ready and waiting. How about that hard case there? Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthing has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too? A sample of it, based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. Some notes, all in Russian. The project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. American. All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. This is top time. Let's move. You get what you wanted? Not exactly. But we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get... Get ready. We need some pressure. Logical weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goose, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Tara about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. Told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? Perhaps it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. Pantheon gained access to a military research facility called Advanced Technologies and Applications. Sounds impressive. It's located in eastern Kentucky. The building is marked as cost for solutions on the surface. Underneath, it's a whole different story. This place looks pretty remote. Nothing but forests and hills. We should park a few miles out, hike the rest of the way in. Once we're inside, our target is the biotechnology wing. Adler thinks that's where the cradle may have come from. We need some answers on what this thing does. Didn't you say Adler worked there at some point? Briefly, about 10 years ago. He mentioned unusual classified programs there using human subjects. And suddenly the place was shut down and quarantined after a biohazard incident. The cradle. 
It's sure looking that way. Seb, how's it going on your side? Still looking for a way in. The north doors are totally sealed. You? Case and I are in south gate utility entrance. Looks like someone's been through here recently. Use the freight elevator. Chain's broken. All right, mask on. Your turn. Hey, stop! Hang on, I've got... Restricted. Please see security for access. It's for you. facility is off limits to patients. I hope you understand. Welcome back, Case. Biotechnology restricted by Security Access 4. Four director key cards required for entry.
contaminated with the same poison that runs in our veins. Remember. Track it down, Case. It has the key card we need. Director key card accepted. Director key card accepted.
Do me a okay. favor. Whatever trip you've been on, I'm glad I wasn't invited. Easy on your feet. Can't believe you even made it up here. Case, we have something. Check it out. Someone took a large batch of whatever this stuff is. Last summer, by the looks of it. The Pantheon. This must be the crater. What is it? A hallucinogen? Seems so. In case you were ready to tear us both apart. Never seen that look in your eyes before. Hope we don't see it again. So get the hell out of here. Something you should see. No popcorn? I'm serious. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> you cracked the disc. Indeed. You must make sure that... Yes, you have it. Ready, Dr. Gusev? Bring her in. Subject 18 has been infected with the cradle. She's now in proximity to our control subject. Transmission should occur momentarily. It's a biological weapon. You know this already. Keep watching. this time? Faster, yes. And more aggressive, as requested. Wonderful. Isn't that your friend? Harold? So, turn it off. There's still a few more minutes. I said turn it off! to see you up. I imagine that bender you were on is still taking a toll. And you know, learning that your friend is a huge bitch. At least you missed the house collapse last night. Right into the water. I don't know about you, but I might start sleeping outside. Let's drop them right here. Somebody! I don't want to bother Marshall. What? This again? It's near the end of the video. Listen. Okay. <clears throat> Listen. I was able to isolate Gusev's audio this moment in the background. Now. Still waiting for B-24, a wire from Fuchina. B-24, a wire from Fuchina. Who the hell's Fuchina? I have no idea. Not who, what? Fuchina is the Casino Lutazzi, 
Only little Datsis and their business partners use that alias. Adler suspected an Avalon faction was connected with the Pantheon. Now we know. Not bad. What about B24? I have done some work for the Lutazis. Regrettable, yet profitable. <laughs> I have a contact that might be willing to shed light on that. Would well, help Felix uh, connect the dots here. So have you two. We need a plan. Marshal! Can I talk to you? B-24, it turns out, refers to a safe deposit box contained within the Casino Lutazzi's archive room. As for the wire mentioned on the disc, I assume the Pantheon is funding their research through laundered casino money. Whatever's in that box, my money says it points us right to Gusev. And that's the hope. So we're gonna blow open their vault, but it's not the cash we're after. Inside the vault is the only place I can override the archive room's security. And while the Lutazis are distracted by her heist, Case is gonna infill the archive room and find the box. Even getting close to that room will be tough. Not if Casino Security escorts Case right into the wing containing the archive room. Where they usually question persons of interest. Case is going to get captured on purpose. Precisely. It's dangerous. And it's gonna take all five of us to pull it off. Starting with me at the high roll of tape. When the big bear sets our whole plan into motion. We'll be ready. I know you will. Let's find out what the Pantheon's hiding in that casino. Wood, you ready? Good on my end. Just wait on case. You. All set. Welcome to Casino Lutazzi. Chips, please. Your boy here is feeling real lucky. Very good, signore. Do you have any weapons that need to be checked? Right. Probably don't want sore losers walking around straight. Grazie. Enjoy. This place is something else. Marshal, walk over to the sign in front of the card display. To the right of the bar. On my way. This place is bringing back bad memories. House always wins, Sav. I was in charge to gamble. Killed business. It wasn't pretty. These days, Casino Lutazzi is a neutral space. The other Avalon factions respect that. I think I'm going to call it the night. What? Why? Ciao, signore. You look like someone who appreciates luxury and finesse. And an edge. In Boca, a loop. Time to play some poker, Marshal. Gotta win that hoity-toity high roller bar. Only way we'll get access to the lounge. And the high roller lounge has what we'll need next. I picked the wrong table. <laughs> Take a seat. Don't mind if I do. There is no shame in losing, Mr. Marshal. Mr. Marshall, welcome, signore. The game is Olden Poker, with the winner receiving the High Roller Bar. Looking forward to it. All set, Case. You know the score. Gotta tap all three junction boxes to give me the full view. Get ready. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a little sewer rat. Let's talk. In private. That'll do it. Case is in. Marshal, your time to shine. Win that table and you'll have access to the high roller lounge.
My new friend here is so generous. He keeps giving me all his chips. Where I'm from, we teach our kids to win with grace and humility. I'm afraid you are not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. This is a game for adults, not school children. That bar is mine. I got a camera feed behind that schmuck. Time to turn your luck around. We here to talk or play cards? Bet. Go. Our fearless American does not know when to take a bow, <laughs> huh? Bet. Uh, I can't see his damn cards. Shake things up a little. Mr. Marshall learned grace and humility, but uh, not arithmetic. <laughs> He's got nine and ten of clubs. Nothing there. Raise. Raise. Such confidence. Call. Should I practice mercy, ma chérie? Huh? He's bluffing. He still ain't got shit. Signore Bado checks. Raise it. Signore Marshal Betts. You got this, motherfucker. Go. And now, the final card. His only chance is... God damn, lucky bastard got us straight. All in. Sev, do your thing. Marshal, whatever's up your sleeve, time to use it. Your drink, signore. Oh, you must be... <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. Please, let me help. What are you doing? I'm terribly Stop. sorry. You're making it worse. Just leave me alone, huh? Oh, man. You need a minute? No, no. Just go away. Continue the game. All in. Gentlemen, showdown, please. A straight. Seven to the jack. Signor Bado wins. As expected. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. Please, let me help. What are you doing? I'm terribly Stop. sorry. You're making it worse. Just leave me alone, huh? Oh, man. You need a minute? No, no. Just go away. Continue the game. All in. Gentlemen, showdown, please. Four jacks. What? Signor Marshall wins. How did this happen? Good game. Move into the high roller lounge. What? You see the pit boss in there? He's there. Got a key card hanging right off his ass. That's what we need. Once I get in and create the distraction. I'll grab the card and hand it off to Felix. Felix, you're in position? Of course. Uh, uh, sorry, signore. Y you'll need the... Uh... One of these? Congratulations. <laughs> Come right in. He's inside. Marshal, head to your right. You can place the scrambler on the slot machine closest to the double doors. Felix, you're almost up. Hey, something's happening. Wait, no. I need you all to clear the area. You cannot blame these women. Senor, stop. Signore, please, the cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, the machine is malfunctioning. You can't claim it. Get back here! Fine. Took you long enough. Mm. What seems to be the problem? Are you serious? Ah, yes. Now's your I chance. did warn management that these machines seem particular. Like I told you, the problem isn't the machines. I'll need to reset the cell. Do it. Hey, man. This lady needs a bucket to carry those winners. Senor, yeah, I'm sorry. Or, or yeah. maybe some of those canvas bags or some big dollar signs on. Please understand. There's been a technical issue with working to the server room and reset. We got a situation down here. I'm quite aware. Damn, Felix. 
Let's not keep Case waiting. Seth, C4. Showtime. Igniting. Remember, we won't have long before the security response arrives. Time for the grand finale. Safe. Did it work? Lawlessly. Francesco, let's finish up and take them down below. Ah. Go help them up there. I'll take care of this myself. You know something about this? <coughs> and here I thought we were gonna let you off easy. <laughs> oh no. The canal is too good for you. The disrespect you've shown to our establishment. This is gonna get real uncomfortable now. Pay back the bitch! I grab some hardware and get to the archive room. What's going on at the vault? Inside that box from the casino's archive room. Seven Felix were right. The Utatsis were moving Pantheon cash through the casino. With a healthy cut in return. We got the breakthrough we needed. Records of wire transfers to a lab in southern Iraq. Directed to Matt V. Goosen. We'll notify Adler so he can take a look on the ground. Time is short. But if we can get our hands on the Pantheon's bioweapon expert, we just might break this whole thing open. Alaska, mm. all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, quiet, but... And then Rome, I suppose. We have a problem. Okay, Felix. After you. We get back to that. It's Adler. Say again. Elaborate. The lab's empty. Goods have fled. So we're fucked. Stimulating. It's a frame-up. Pantheon's activities will point right to Saddam Hussein. Goose is heading to the Kuwaiti airport as we speak. Well, that, that airport's in a war zone. Even if we head your way soon, can we reach it? I have a CENTCOM connection in the area. You might be willing to help us. Might? Huh. Well, if we leave within the hour, we'll make it by morning. Out. Ace, let's get ready. We'll get some shut-eye on the way.
You were impressive today. Finally, the legendary Felix Newman in action. Sims. Not now. Figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? Not what I expected. I left Langley because of you. Remember that, don't you? Central command, huh? It's above the table. Unambiguous. Maybe you should give it a try. I don't know. It's a little late for me. So can you get us to Gusev? I can get you close. But Doc, this is it for me. I'm on a different path now. Once you get what you need, I'm out. It's the second time I've heard that this week. Lord, give me strength. Get your crew. You leave them five. and goose of ASAP. Searching the area now. Tanks are almost here. Found them outside Terminal 3. They're taking them to a military cargo plane. 
Terminal 3. That's clear across the airport, Doc. So we shortcut it across the tarmac. The hell are you talking about, man? Those tanks? <coughs> How about now? Tarmac and we lose Goose. We're sending ducks if we stay. I hate it when he's right. Goose's cargo plane is on the other side of the tarmac. You're gonna get pounded out there. No way we'll make it in time. I'll think of something. Keep moving. Probably came with the one. It's a good thing we brought a lie detector. Case, make him talk. She and Harold brought me a biological agent, the cradle, from an American lab. The Pantheon wanted me to make it infectious, more violent. The victims tear each other apart like animals. Who else is working with Harrow? Daniel Livingston? Never heard of him. I don't know. Why would they tell me? You're lying. No. I swear it. They don't share anything unless they need to. Case. I don't! I don't know! I don't! Please, you must believe me! Hold the plug, Case. No! No! Stop! I don't know the target, but I can tell you where the weapon is! Keep talking. For Kuta. For the Russian prison camp. It became a bioweapon lab years ago, before it was shut down. But it still has what they need to scale up production of the cradle. That'll work. You can dispose of it now. What? No! He told us what he knows. Getting soft in your old age, huh, Sims? You've got your ways and I've got mine. Gustav's in my custody now. Marshal, you catch all that? Affirmative. Mother Lowe's in Borkuda. I'll let the others know we're headed there. Exactly. The cradle leaves that camp. The Pantheon can release it anytime, anywhere. Millions could be at risk. It's up to us. Cradles in Borkuda, the Pantheon will have that base well defended. We'll approach at low altitude, land a few miles out. The next phase is all you, said. So, hike to the base perimeter for infiltration. After that, find the Pantheon uniform to blend in. No problem. Right up your alley. Once inside, scout out the base. We need to know what defenses they have and whether there's anything you can do to weaken them. The saboteur. I think I might enjoy this. Once their defenses are down, the rest of us can move in. Then we'll need to find and secure the cradle. You ready for this? Let me at them. Entirely Pantheon. Can you get in? Inside the perimeter already. Now I just need to dress the part. Keep us updated. I guess. Marshal, I'm in uniform. About to engage in a little reconnaissance. We're all ears over here. I see their SAM site. Looks loaded. 
You thinking about placing charges on that bad boy? Perhaps. Or I could sabotage their unloaded warheads. Convince them to swap out. If you can find someone to do it for you, sure. It's a possibility. An attack helicopter landed in a gated area below. I might be able to place a charge on it. If you can get that close. And they're about to service it. Wonder if I could meddle with the fuel supply. Perhaps you can add some water to it. There's a security station. Maybe I can try sweet talking the guard inside. Any other options? Probably. Looks like they're about to load cargo into it. Something to exploit. By all means. They have a very impressive radar dish. Yeah. We need to do something about that. Could just plant a charge in the dish. Or take out its power supply. It must be connected to a generator. Any other options? Someone's stationed behind the security window there. A chat could be in order. Once you neutralize all three, we'll be good to go. And Sev, keep an eye out for the cradle. You're somewhere on that base. <laughs> Yesterday morning, Commander. Is really not enough time to completely... Time? Yes. The risk of contempt... I will determine the risks. Commander, if... Is that? We've done what we came here to do. The weapon has shipped. Now we evacuate before the CIA or the Soviets learn we're here. Clear enough? Yes, ma'am. Things have been quiet around here, but I don't expect that to last much longer. Come with me. Bad news, Marshal. Lay it on me. They moved the weapon. Harrow confirmed it herself. Jane's here? Now? Just saw her on the security feed. In some lab. Probably underground. Jesus. All right, new plan. We're not leaving empty-handed. We wreck this place, grab Harrow unharmed. I've got a few questions. I'll find a way underground. Moving out now. Sir, time to take that radar offline. My pleasure.
Right behind you, Kate. <laughs> Dr. Gunther pointed you here. I knew he would eventually let us down. <laughs> but unusual circumstances make for unusual bedfellows. I'm sure you're well aware of that by now. I respect you, Case. I really do. You put everything into your work, your principles. You may not believe it anymore, but I am too. It's all just about perspective. The principles. <laughs> You're not that naive. Blind faith will only take you so far. They would kill each one of you given the open shot. We both betrayed our masters, haven't we? <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> take me, kill me, Troy. There's nothing you can do to stop this. You know, I hate being told what I can't do. Felix, get ready. I'm headed back to the Rook with the guest. We got lucky down there. Jeder ist seines Glückes Schmied. Everyone is responsible for their own fortune. That includes Harold. We don't know where that weapon went. I'll consider us lucky when Jane starts talking. Yes. She'll talk, one way or the other. Count on it. We're on our way home, and I can feel a giant guillotine hanging over our heads. When it drops, it's anyone's guess. Who is this person we're bringing back? Won't say a word. She's got that I know something you don't smirk on her face. I used to think it was cute, amusing. Maybe I should have seen this coming. She was changing, and I wasn't changing with her, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. I just can't wrap my head around this. The motivation. She was a patriot. Followed in her parents' footsteps. They were both CIA too. They were her inspiration. Believed in the mission. She'd never let them down. So what am I missing? They're wasting their time in there. She's not going to give anything up. Just be patient. Hey, we got a problem. Had us still playing hard to get? Big surprise. She had something embedded in her forearm, a device. Felix thinks it's a tracker of some kind. They know where we are? We should assume that. Then let's get out of here. Take her someplace else. No, we don't have time to relocate. We make our stand here. The Pantheon wonder they're gonna have to fight for her on our turf. We need to get her to talk before that happens. Doesn't sound like she's on a schedule. Leave that to me. I've got something tucked away that'll help. I just need some time to prepare. You're okay with this, Marshal, right? Get on it. The rest of us will start fortifying the house. If you got any unfinished business around here, now's the time to take care of it. Once we get started on Harrow, we're in it for the long haul. This won't be an exact science. Think she'll survive it? Probably. <sighs> Is all this really necessary? I am outnumbered five and a half to one. Just give me a fucking reason. Enough bullshit. Just tell us what you're doing with that bioweapon. This doesn't have to get ugly. Well, where's the fun in that? Jane? <laughs> Please, okay? You're better than this. Oh, you don't even know if you can do it. 
We've both made our choices, Troy. I stand by mine, do you? <clears throat> I miss the old you. Ah! Let's see if she's still in there. Sweetie, listen to me. You're bleeding. Uh, I, I'll be fine. I had a little accident, that's all. <sighs> Mommy needs you to stay in your room. Why do you have a gun? J Jane, just get under your bed and stay there as long as you can, okay? It, it's like you're playing hide and seek. I don't want to. Jane, Jane, please, get under the bed, okay? Just get under the bed. <sighs> I love you. I love you, too. childhood member. Your mother was in danger? Yes. Why do you think you're remembering this now? I've never stopped remembering this, Troy. It made me who I am. Or was. Or will be. I don't... I don't know anymore. What about the cradle? Does that name mean anything to you? Maybe... something to do with the mirror. The mirror? Yes. Someone that knows. Someone that knows is inside. Don't you fucking dare. You don't need to tell them anything. I need to know. Keep your mouth shut. searching around. Solve the clues for numbers found. These three numbers you must glean, then put them in the order seen. When I was a girl, my mother loved making scavenger hunts for me. Where are you now? I'm... I'm in Verkuda. Verkuda? You were there recently. That's where you scaled up the bioweapon. Where did it go after? Progress, Troy. 
You got something for me? Getting closer. Here goes. Oh. Jane. My mother told me to stay under the bed, but I didn't. You needed to know, Troy. I'm somewhere else again. I've been here before. A lab. They're taking something. Pantheon stole a bioweapon from a U.S. lab. Do you remember? It's starting to come back to me. Another mirror shard. I don't want to go through this again, Troy. You can do it. Whatever you experience, it seems to be a part of the process. Getting somewhere with Jane, she's cooperating. We can't stop now. Woods, I need you to take this over. Get what she knows. We'll take care of the rest. Send her my regards. Sev, seal the ops room. Listen up. We need to buy Woods time. As much as we can. If he can't get answers out of Harold, and all this, everything we've been doing, is for nothing. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm not here to die a forgotten footnote in history. So lock it low. Sev, Adler, Felix, take position. Case, you want to place additional explosives out there past the wall, now's the time. What are you doing, man? We need those. You all in on this, Felix? Yes. The gloves are off. I'm coming around. Harrow. Harrow. I'm here. Stay with me. We gotta keep going. Yes. <gasps> the situation with your parents is fucked. I get it. But I need answers. Now. I'm trying. Try harder. Your buddies are knocking on the door. <laughs> It's all connected. The murders. The killer. What about the killer? <sighs> I'm getting there. I grew up wanting to join the CIA. Like your parents. You grew up wanting vengeance. 
I wanted closure. Come on. Langley accepted me. The newspapers, the police, my aunt and uncle, they all had the same story. My parents were killed in a simple home invasion. Happens more often than you'd think. But somehow I always knew they had it wrong. Maybe now, years after starting my career, multiple promotions, maybe now I'd have access to the truth. And what'd you learn? No one had information about the murders. So over the years, I searched every physical archive I gained clearance to. When eventually I reached the most top secret repository, the files were missing. You think the CIA was hiding something from you? I can take over now. Of course they were hiding something, Woods. They're always hiding something. And you? You are weak and gullible. Nothing like me! The drug is weakening, Jane. I'll be back in charge before you know it. I need to get to my office. What's in your office? Figure out what you're hiding from me, what you're planning. So what about your office? Troy was my anchor in those days. I was lost, fumbling. He had no idea. I didn't know what to do with myself anymore. And then... Someone 
found what I'd been looking for all this time. Who? Go ahead. See what's on the disc. of my parents' records, entire histories, details of the operation that killed them. It was ordered by the CIA itself. Zero. Target's eliminated. Anything else? Negative. We're done here. you under his wing. Adler. Bullshit. If it's true, that means your parents were double agents. Or worse. Never! just the truth about my parents. They revealed how deep the CIA rot goes, murdering their own, their best. Manipulation. You can't believe anything they told you. They knew your weak spot. <laughs> Spoken like a true believer. You're nothing without the CIA woods. Pantheon took me in, showed me their vision for the agency. What do they fucking want, Harrow? This is a pivotal moment in history, Woods. The United States is about to become the world's lone superpower. Do you really think an organization as corrupt, as decadent as the CIA, should pull the world's strings in a new world order? We'll make sure that doesn't happen. After years of studying their strengths and their flaws from the inside, Pantheon is ready to take the reins once our current leadership is gone. Once they've been discredited and shamed, as they deserve. Fucking crazy. We're going to give Americans a reality check. The CIA can't even keep them safe from the likes of Saddam Hussein and his terrible new weapon. A false flag attack? They won't buy that bullshit. Oh, they'll believe whatever narrative confirms what they want to believe. That's the easiest part of it all. How do you know someone else didn't kill your parents? It could have been the goddamn Pantheon themselves. You were a kid. Can you really trust your own memories? Targets eliminated. It was. How can you be so sure? Targets eliminated. I know it was. It wasn't Adler. You are so, so confused.
almost complete you can't undo what's already happened Harold. no you okay don't you understand you can't beat me you're a part of me we are in this together till the end Washington, D.C., the Capitol building. They're just waiting on my word to release it. Jesus Christ. It's 5,000 miles from here. It's awful. Everyone within blocks of the Capitol will be infected. Why? Because Livingston's head will roll for an intelligence failure of this magnitude. 
Failure to stop an attack on our capital. An attack using a CIA-funded bioweapon, no less. And someone else will take his place. You. Me. The Pantheon will finally control the institution that cast them out. I'm fading, Frank. You have to stop them. Stop me. We may have one last card to play. Something good. The cradle's in DC, the Capitol building. They're gonna release it after grabbing arrows. Holy shit! I let Livingston know. Let's see if that asshole finally listens. Copy that. Fuck. What? What? Go time. Ah. Ah. Sad to see you like this, Woods. You try so hard. <laughs> you just don't matter anymore. Fuck you! I'll give the order once we're airborne. <laughs> 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 Something will be over soon. What's danger? Felix, are you? Oh, I live. Sam, stay with him. Give us some cover fire. And the case on me. Go, case. We'll be fine.
over. We did it, Case. We did it. Thanks for coming. You getting medals or concrete boots? Neither. But I can start with an apology. Damn straight. I'm not sure how you pulled it off, but it's not lost on me that you prevented one of the greatest catastrophes of our time. So you want us back? Something like that. Can we trust one another? Working on it. Right now you have something of great value. Anonymity. You're in the shadows. No shit. We've always been in the shadows. Not like this. Your reach is greater than it's ever been. We need you, Woods. All of you. I can provide whatever you need. Accommodations, resources, cash, additional manpower. All of it off the books. I thought the Cold War was over. No more need for, uh, what was it? Global gunslingers. Yes. The Cold War may be over, but the world is more dangerous than it's ever been. The nature of our enemy is unclear now. What do you want us to do about it? What you've always done. Protect us. Harrow may be gone, but not the Pantheon. I need you back in Avalon. You think you're still a threat? I do. And worse. Whatever Cabal brought Harrow into the Pantheon still lives inside our house. We thought they were long gone. But it turns out, they never left.